Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science channel and before we start our solution step by step, please subscribe in the channel and like this video. Now let's see our problem. Spring CD remains in the horizontal position at all times due to the roller at T. If the spring is unstretched when theta is equal to 0 degrees, and the bracket achieves its equilibrium when theta is equal to 30 degrees, determine the stiffness k of the spring and the horizontal and vertical components of the reaction pin A. Okay, so first I'm gonna put our reaction here instead of our S, I'm gonna put a F, I'm gonna put an S force that's gonna be our spring. Here I'm gonna have my AX and here my AY. Now I'm gonna find the angle here. So our angle is gonna show here is our theta and our theta is gonna show up here as well. I'm finding the angles to be easier when you do our moment equation. So now we have all forces. I can apply my equations of equilibrium. So here, sum of forces x is equal zero and the sum of forces in y is equal zero and the sum of moments about a point is also equal zero. So first I'm gonna use the sum of moments about A is equal zero. So we're starting with our force S. So S it's in a distance our arm lever is 0 0.6 times cosine of 30 degrees that's our theta so here i'm turning counterclockwise so i have a positive so s times 0 0.6 times cosine of theta now our force f is going clockwise and our distance here is here is 0 0.6 sine of theta and from here to here is 0 0.45 times cosine of theta so minus because i'm going clockwise f times 0 0.6 sine of theta plus 0 0.45 cosine of theta is equal zero so here i know that my s is equal 300 times 0 0.6 sine of 30 degrees plus 0 0.45 cosine of 30 degrees divided by 0 0.6 cosine of 30 degrees so my s will be 398.2 newtons so i discover my spring force now we can find how much i stretch here so here i have a triangle from here to here I have a triangle here is our angle theta let me draw better so here I have our angle and this part would be the amount my spring, spring stretches so if here is 0 0.6, here is gonna be our delta x. So we know that 
delta x divided by 0 0.6 is equal sine of 30 so our delta x is equal 0 0.3 meters so i know that my uh, spring is stretched 0 0.3 meters from its original position now i know that my force is equal k times delta x here is our s so s that's equal 398 is equal 0 0.3 times k so our k is equal 1,327.4 newtons per meter or my k is equal 1.33 kilonewtons per meter so this is our stiffness from the sum of forces in x is equal zero i have ax minus s is equal zero so my ax my horizontal component is 398 newtons and from the sum of forces in y is equal zero i have ay minus f is equal zero so my ay is equal 300 newtons so my vectors are ax is pointing to the right and ay is pointing up thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe on the channel like the video and share with your classmates thank you